First today, I am going to be using two new products. I'm gonna be using the Beauty Blender and the Zodiac Palette with Catherine Light. And I'm also gonna be using the new NYX Finishing Powder Banana that I got uh, that I got the idea from from Allie Glines. So first, we're going to prime it with the face. We're gonna use the Wet n Wild Matte Primer. We're gonna get rid of this. I'm almost done with it. Okay, and then that's primed. I'm gonna use a little bit of these wet and cushions, wet and wild cushions because I wanna get rid of them. And That is done. I'm gonna go into the Beauty Blender. So it was locked. Now I'm just gonna use the back of my hand. I do a couple pumps. I'm in shade 2.3. Um, this is supposed to be for the Beauty Blender, like put it in here and it drops down, but that just makes a really big mess and I end up cleaning it later. So I'm just gonna use my blending brush. We're gonna start putting it in the face. And I shade matched online, so I didn't go to my local Sephora. I actually shade matched online, and I think it's a really good shade match for me. Okay, so far it doesn't look too bad. I actually really like it. Now that I'm looking at it, I look kind of like I'm airbrushed a little bit, which is what I like. So I definitely like that. Um, so I'm basically going to do my normal routine. You guys know I use like Makeup Revolution concealer. I use powder, but I'm gonna come back to powder the eyes when I'm done with everything else, contour, brush, all that other stuff I'm gonna do off camera and I will be back in a second. All right, I am back. I did everything else. I did blush, contour. I used Ulta Beauty Ombre Cheek Palette. I got this for $9 when it was originally $18. And I've really gone into the contour shade, like, really good. I love that contour shade. All right, so next I'm going to use the NYX Banana Powder to set the under eyes. And I'm just going to use... Let's just use a packing brush. We're going to use a... I'm gonna go into this and we're gonna set the under eyes. Now, Ally Gynes uses a, bl uh, a bleed blender, but I wanted to try and see if it would do better with a brush. Mm, I think it's better with a beauty blender, a damn beauty blender, I think. I think it just makes it so much brighter when you use a damn beauty blender. <sighs> All right, so that is done. So next I'm going to go into the Zodiac Palette by Catherine Light. I love this packaging. It is so beautiful. Love it. Black. And then you get the eyeshadow palette like this. Her last one, Dream Street, did not have a mirror, so a lot of people wanted a mirror. I did not buy Dream Street, so I do not know anything about that. Um, all I know is that a lot of people were really pissed that there was no mirror, so there is a mirror this time. And here are all the shades. So the first shade I'm going to go into is the Taurus, Taurus, which is this brown one right here. I'm going to go into that one. Okay. M503 brush. This matte brown one right here. I'm gonna put this in the crease.
Okay, pigmented, like it. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, I really like that uh, Taurus as a good transition shade. I really like that. I'm going to go into Virgo to deepen out the outer V. And I'm going to use that one. I'm just going to use a ColourPop brush. It's very pretty. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. And I'm just doing very light strokes and I only went in once and I tapped it off on my hand just to make sure I didn't have any fallout in my face. Okay, I just went in like a little bit and it's a little powdery. It's not like falling all over the pan, but it is a little powdery for my liking. I really like that color. All right, I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, now that I have that, I'm going to use some concealer. I'm just going to use a Makeup Revolution C1. I'm going to take a concealer brush. I'm going to use the Anamar Cosmetics brush. We're just going to carve out the lid in the middle. Wow, this is really easy. I need to get that cleaned. I'm going to use you. And we're just doing the middle. I'm doing a halo eye today. I like that. I'm using a uh, Sony Kasich packing brush. This is the 09. And I'm going to go into Gemini. This one right here. I think this is really pretty and it will look really nice on my eyes. So first we're going to try it dry and see what happens. And then we're going to... pretty the color of the color or the concealer helps too okay now here comes the harder part you have to go back in with virgo and kind of blend those two together so they're seamlessly which is always like really annoying i think i'm gonna go in with a different brush it just packs it in really nice and I think that's done. Let me just do a little bit more. I think I'm gonna use Virgo on the bottom lower lash line. Just using what's left on the ColourPop brush. And then I'm going to take that brown color, Taurus, and just kind of blend that in as well. It's ever left on the Morphe M503. All right, and then for the corner of the shade in the eye, I think I'm going to go in with Cancer right here. This does not have a sticky base, so we'll see if it works. Uh, I might need a little bit of fix plus. A little better. I 
I'm using the Morphe 213. I know this is for concealer, but I'm using it because it's very small. And it's good for detailing. Detailing. All right, a highlighting brush. I'm gonna go into Cancer. Just a little bit. I'm gonna put this on top of the highlight. Might wet it. There we go. All right. So I'm done with the Zodiac palette. What do I think? I think it's really pretty. I love the look I came up with. Um, I think the shades are really good in this palette. I really like it. The Halo Eye came out pretty good. And I'm not really good at Halo Eyes, but it came out pretty good. L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I really like this look. It's very pretty. And then for lips in Stay Fierce. Uh, yeah, it's just an Ulta Beauty lipstick. Stay Fierce. Flower Beauty. Setting spray on. Okay, guys, so this is the final look. What do you guys think? I did a Halo Eye with the Catherine Light ColourPop palette Zodiac. I think it's a really good palette for what you're getting. I really do. You get four mattes and the rest are all shimmers, but I went in with Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini right here. And then I went into Cancer. So I really did like these shimmers. I definitely am going to play with this palette a lot more. It's a really good fall palette too. And we'll have to try and use the Scorpio when it's my birthday month because Scorpio is my sign. So uh, the Beauty Blender so far, I think it's really good. I love the concept. I love the uh, deal of it. I think it's supposed to be for traveling. It's really good because um, you can lock it and stuff won't come out so it won't be messy so i really like that people who actually want to put it in here instead of on their hand good idea it's just you have to clean it afterwards otherwise it's gonna get nasty so i do like the concept so it's a good formula so far i really like it not too drying it, it covered up my red pigment spot really well um and i don't really see my pores too bad through it but because i think i might wear this to my cousin's wedding that is in November. I don't know if I'm gonna use the Scorpio. I really like the look I came up with this. It's very pretty, very wedding-ishly. Even though I'm a guest, I'm not in the wedding. So as always, please subscribe to my channel if you like these videos. And if you don't like me, I really don't care. This is what I like doing about makeup. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.